CFD will accurately predict for, uh, for you how much the wind change between the two locations due to the complex terrain and stability effects, allowing you to have a precise characterization of the wind in a three-dimensional domain. We believe that solving the non-linear transport equation for mass, momentum, and energy makes RAMS, which here stands for Reynolds Average the Navier Stokes, the best approach for simulation in complex terrain. And with complex terrain, I mean not only steep slopes, but also sudden changes. But does it work? Of course it works. This has been verified in the Bolund experiment. The Bolund experiment uh, was uh, an academic experiment designed by ERISA DTU in Denmark, where this island in the picture, just outside their research facilities, has been instrumented with a massive amount of wind sensors and companies and research institutes has been invited to model the flow conditions over the island and submit the results. The blind comparison showed that RAM's approach with two equation closure of turbulence here which is the one implemented in our software was the most performing approach and at the same time the blind experiment the blind comparison highlighted that CFD approach with one equation turbulence closure and linearized model are limited in flow modeling over complex terrain. The purple line here represents the normalized wind speed over the hill calculated by wind speed, by wind speed. And it's nice to see the agreement with the measurements. But let's focus on the top of the hill here. The wind resource is actually less than predicted by a lot of models that you can see here. The real measurement is this. Wind seam is the purple line. Wind seam seems to get it right here. And let's remember that an overestimation of the wind resource, even a little one, can bring devastated, devastating consequences in the cash flow. And this is not something that happens on academic experiments, but can happen easily on a real life project. For example, here we have two existing turbines where production data were available, SCADA data. Uh, the turbines are surrounded by complex terrain, but located at the same terrain height, which is around 800 meters above sea level. This same height would make us thinking that they will have the same production because they will be exposed to the same wind. If someone thought so, he didn't consider these little terrain features highlighted with the mouse here. This little terrain feature makes turbine number three, which was the, mo was the northmost, 
producing up to 8% less than turbine number one when the wind is blowing from south southwest, which is one of the main wind directions of the sun. By looking at the blue bar that represents the production of turbine number one and the two orange bars where is the predicted production uh, by Winsim in light orange and the, re the, the realized production by turbine number three in, oh, oh, sorry, in dark orange. By looking at this, uh, this validation case demonstrates that Winsim is able to correctly model such a behavior seen before and give you very, very accurate energy prediction for each turbine of the layout. In order to demonstrate once more the accuracy of Winsim, uh, I assessed the annual, en the annual energy, the expected annual energy production of an uh, operating wind farm in Northern Europe and compared this estimated production with nine years of production data for these turbines. The wind condition measured at the metmas available at the site, which was located here, where my mouse is pointing, has been transferred to each turbine, high, turbine position using both CFD technology and the industry standard WASP. Wind has been converted in power using the power curve declared by the non -partner. And you can see in the next slide that both technology was linearized flow models and CFD performed well when the turbine li lies in the same type of terrain of uh, where the metma was uh, sited. But CFD has a superior edge in terms of accuracy of AP prediction for the turbine sited in a different comp comp terrain complexity, more inland where forest was uh, uh, more present. Since uh, the wind measurements were located near the coastal turbine, the challenge here was to keep in the error in energy production low when transferring the measured statistics more inland where forest was uh, present. This was achieved by modeling the forest as a porous obstacle. Winsim gives the possibility to easily build a forest over areas of certain roughness, height, and assign to say the first cells, three cells above the ground, physical properties like variable height, porosity, and resistive force proportionally to the velocity squared for extraction of momentum from the flow. This is a feature built in with. Uh, in the fields of uh, science and engineering, the accuracy of a, of, a, of a model is the degree of closeness of, of measurement of a quantity that quant to, the, to the actual quantity that uh, uh, represents the true value. The precision of a measurement of a, of a model or, or, the, or, or a system in general, also call, called the representation reproducibility or repeatability is the degree to which repeated assessment under unchanged conditions show the same result. With the validation cases 
that I showed you previously, I tried to demonstrate that energy yield prediction with Winton are both accurate and precise. Accuracy and precision translate in a wind assessment with low uncertainty. And our goal in the future is to keep pushing towards further reduction of the uncertainty. Since you can't improve what you can't measure, we developed in Winsum an automatic calculation of the cross prediction errors when two or more measurements points are available in the wind farm problem. Cross prediction errors in any kind of terrain are lower than our competitors. And this will guarantee an accurate and precise and validated assessment that leads at the end to a higher P90 and therefore better financing. In order to understand uh, what more certain, more certain assessment means in terms of money, it's enough to bring up the example of a 40 megawatt wind farm project with uh, an eight meters per second average wind, where the reduction of the uncertainties of just 3.3% points leads to an increase of a guaranteed revenue equal to 400,000 euro every year. In my house, this means so lowering extremely the economical risks, and then, of course, lower economical risks means better financing for your investment. Of course, all I said is uh, all I said so far. Uh, it's true. If the turbines of your wind farm keeps delivering power during their entire lifetime without any severe da damage or long outage. Because that will make what I've talked about not true anymore. Our software solution is used by leading turbine manufacturers to back up their warranty terms. But the structural integrity should be a, of, the, of your investment should be a concern also of the investors. It's not the, the, only the, the only job of the turbine manufacturer to demonstrate that your turbine will, will keep being healthy, mechanically healthy during their lifetime. Luckily, CSD gives the capability to everyone that buys our software to verify that the wind conditions at the site are no more severe than those assumed for the design of the wind turbine, as stated in the IEC 61400-1 design requirements. Wind turbines, as written in the international standard mentioned before, are designed according to different wind classes for, for different standard external wind conditions. Okay? There, there are, and it's important to highlight the word standard wind conditions. They, are, they try to be representative, these standard wind conditions try to be representative of all the type of winds that can be found on planet Earth. But of course, there is a limitation of this uh, uh, assumption. And wind in, uh, in, uh, at, at your wind farm site will behave probably a little bit different from this standard condition. These standard conditions, th these conditions must be checked at the site and verified to be lower than the one assumed in the load casings, in the load cases that were performed during the mechanical design. 
And this is the checklist of wind condition that must be checked. In detail, we'll go quickly through this, this, uh, uh, this slide that tells that uh, extreme winds must be checked at the site and, and compare to the one used in the design. And WinSIM allows to transfer the, the, the measure the time series from the measurement point of the turbine up using our using the CFD speed up factors. Then the extreme wind with a recurrent period of 50 years is calculated using uh, statistical methods. After this is checked, then we need to check that the, the, the winds that are experienced at the, the, the turbine experience at the site uh, are comparable to the one that were used in the design. And this is done by comparing the probability density function at the site and comparing it with the class one, class two, class, class three probability density function. The CFD allows to have accurate characterization of the probability density function at the turbine position. Vertical wind shear is another wind condition to be checked. Uh, the average vertical wind shear for all directions should be less than what's specified in the standard, and usually it's uh, 0 0.2 and then larger than zero. The CFD speed up factors allows the measure, the time measure uh, wind conditions to be transferred vertically and horizontally to have also accurate characterization of the shear. Uh, after the shear, the inflow angle must be checked and the shear must be checked, the maximum shear for all directions should be checked, and then verify that should be less than plus minus eight, which is used in the design of the machine. Uh, WinSIM, since resolve the 3D wind vector over your site, allows to, through a very easy equation, to calculate this inflow. Turbulence, as well as the other wind condition mentioned previously, can have high variability over the wind farm site. As demonstrated in these two pictures, turbulence, or in this case, standard deviation of, of wind speed uh, at the mass mast, can have this kind of behavior, but it, at the same site, the wind turbine can experience this turbulence, which is exceeding highly the, the design conditions. This is why it's important to verify that the standard deviation of wind speed at the turbine position, including wake effect calculated in wind seam, uh, using the Franzen model, lies below the normal turbulence model used in the design of the mechanical components of the wind turbine. This, uh, the normal turbulence model uh, allows to, very, to design the mechanical components of the turbine in order that they don't break due to mechanical fatigue prematurely. Uh, it's important to notice that load related wind conditions like shear in this case can have also an effect on the property of the wind turbine to convert wind in power and what we normally call the power curve. For example, a shear very different, a, a shear at the site very different from the shear that the turbine experienced during the power performance measurement test 
could lead to a different behavior when installed at the final site. There is a different uh, uh, energy flux over the rotor. This type of behavior goes to increase the uncertainty in power conversion of the turbine. When it's sited, when it's located, when the, fin the final site is located in complex terrain. Low, this is not related to uncertainties of wind assessment, but it's related to uncertainties of power conversion, which is part, one of the sources of uncertainty in a full wind resource assessment. And this is important to keep in mind. The same can be said for turbulence. The power conversion characteristic of a wind turbine may change up to a certain extent, also in function of the turbulence level experience. Accurate assessment of shear, before, as I said before, and turbulence for every turbine position will also play the role of lowering the uncertainty in power conversion, which is one of the uncertainty sources of a complete wind resource assessment. I said all that. Uh, what remains is to find the best wind farm configuration that maximize the exposure to high winds and therefore maximizing production, and at the same time to avoid the exposure to wind conditions that are exceeding the conditions to the machine that are exceeding the condition that were used for the design of the machine. Luckily, WinSim features uh, a tool for doing this all in the same step. And this is called Park Optimizer. Park Optimizer, in order to bring an example, was used to uh, find uh, an IEC compliant layout that would maximize the profitability and reduce risk for this Norwegian wind farm project that was granted a permit up to 150 megawatts. Arc optimizer was used for throughout all this throughout the project since 2009. Arc optimizer reads as input the CFD wind fields and automatically find IEC related constraints and will mer and can merge them with other possible external constraints like uh, cultural or environmental constraints, which are in these pictures. Uh, uh, represented as a red one, while the IEC constraints are represented as gray zones, where wind, when winter, where wind turbines are not allowed to be placed. Then, after finding the white area where turbine can be placed, then an optimization algorithm find the best location that maximize energy extraction. This optimization algorithm takes into account wake effects with respect to both velocity deficit and increased turbulence. This is uh, fully automatic because the combi the uh, one turbine position affects all the other due to the wakes, and the possible combination of layout is huge. Therefore, uh, a fully automatic procedure is needed for this uh, type of, of very complicated problems. After uh, an optimum configuration that maximizes the energy output, 
Then Park Optimizer feature uh, an eco economical optimization that will let the user to find the perfect, to, to find the right wind farm size that maximize the net present value of the investment. In this case, uh, actually, the, the, nor the, the best number of turbines is uh, around 40, 45. Of course, all the benefits explained uh, so far are lost if CFD technology is not embraced early enough. In order to facilitate uh, the adoption of CFD, even in the early stage of a wind farm project, when highly quality measurements usually are scarce or not available, the WinSim consulting team offers CFD simulation based on weather data, downscaled at the highest resolution available in the market. Such services will allow the wind farm developer to rank accurately the projects in the pipeline. This means that you can uh, invest more money on the more profitable wind farm, uh, wind farm project in order to speed up its development. Uh, having access to this service lower also the investment risk of a tall and well instrumented net mass, which is always very needed for bankability of the wind farm project, and the tall hub height uh, tall and well instrumented with very with calibrated sensors will lower the uncertainty in wind measurement, which is another uncertainty source of a wind resource assessment study. Of course, this for the country for the countries where actually uh, the, uh, in order to achieve permit you need to. Uh, present to the authority already a layout. This will give the possibility to use a park optimizer early enough, even without measurements. And then go to, the, to your authority with the perfectly optimized layout that maximize the energy and minimize the loss. Uh, in the, the validity of the downscaling methodology was verified against the seven sites of varying atmospheric stability and terrain characteristics. At each site of these seven, uh, the virtual climatologists uh, produced using our um, methodology was compared to the measured wind climatology with respect of average wind speed and here on, the on this column, you can see the error in average wind speed achieved. And then the comparison was done also with respect to the wind rows here on the left. And then to the wind shear, modeled and measured wind shear. And the time series in general. All the, this comparison highlights a good agreement between the simulated and the measured values. Setting what I personally believe a new state of the art in virtual wind data generation. Accurate downscaling of weather data doesn't only bring value to the early pre-construction phase, but also after the wind farm is built. Wind power, due to its nature, is variable over time. And every wind farm owner must provide daily to the grid operator a production forecast. 
this production forecast will be used to maintain the grid stable. In case of wrong production forecast, the wind farm owner must bear the imbalance of due that was produced due to the wrong production forecast. Wind seam forecast, in this case, will allow you to minimize the operational costs and, have a sec and secure your wind energy investment also in the operational phase. Uh, uh, this is my last slide. I hope that uh, through this pr presentation, I have been able to convince you that uh, wind is the fuel that drives a wind power plant. An accurate estimation of this fuel using a CFD procedure will allow engineers to build a more efficient power plant and a more efficient power plant is a secure investment. This was my last slide, as I said, and uh, I pass the voice over to Donna for the final remarks and uh, greetings. Thank you so much.